So for our last two days in Korea, we decided to move to the other side of Seoul, which is the University Central, Hongdae. We are pretty excited to explore Hongdae, but it is pretty sad as well to be leaving this place, especially when we enjoyed staying here so much. So I'll leave all the details that you need to know about Mimio in the screen or in the description box below, so make sure to check them out whenever you're in the country. <music> Since I failed to give you a decent hotel tour last time, here is a quick explore of the hotel lobby and what to see. They have a gorgeous reception area up front and since the office doesn't operate till 10.30am, it was still pretty dark in this area. The reception or the entire lobby, I might say, was filled with lots of antiques and knickknacks, a very well-traveled look. They are also very accommodating to their guests even when they are not around. They provide a phone, charging dock, microwave, and a water and coffee station that are all free to use. They also have a lounge area for you to chill in. We actually changed here during our first day since our rooms weren't ready yet. We took a quick nap here, very comfortable as well with charging areas and slippers. They also have a bathroom. I think it was for the bar accommodation but it was free to use by anyone, very clean. And then you have the stairs going up the rooms or you could use the elevator like we did. They also have this free skincare packs that they give away. This is what I've been using actually. So I'm definitely taking some for our next hotel just in case they won't be providing me. But yeah, that's basically Mimio Design Residence 1010 would recommend. So make sure to check the link below. Since we have more time before our check into our next accommodation, we decided to give Pyongdong one last explore before saying goodbye. We also left our luggages in the lobby since checkout here was 11am and we didn't want to carry our luggages around Seoul. So first in our agenda was the Myeongdong Cathedral which was just a few steps away from Mimio. It was gorgeously constructed in 1898 and it was the first Catholic church in South Korea. It is the first church in Korea to be built in bricks after the Gothic style. The floor plan that you saw earlier shows a cross shape and the mass hall is 23 meters high and the tower is 45 meters high. Kevin! 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 <laughs> Bye, Kevin! 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 Next stop was the Myeongdong Street, the exact street where they have the night market in. Again, this was also a few steps away from our accommodation. So here we're just gonna go shop and eat lunch before going to finally home day.
avoid bringing too much luggages since if you saw from the first vlog, you'll be carrying them around tall flights of stairs. So a great tip is if your shopping overflows your luggages, get them boxed either to check in or for express delivery. Now it's definitely time to say goodbye to Myeongdong. This will be the last time we will be walking up and down Oljiro Station. Well, until we fly back to Korea, of course. But we're now off to a new accommodation, which is in Hongdae. So finally, we're here in Hongdae. This is June's guest house, our second accommodation here in Korea. Um, here is a quick tour of our space. It was pretty big compared to our last one. We have three beds, a queen, and a double-decker. We also have a desk and a huge bathroom. I think we were very lucky in choosing our accommodation in Korea since everything was very cozy. Love it. So for our first stop, Kai and I were laughing so much because we thought what unique designs they have and when we got in deeper, it was just basically the same handcraft items we have in Manila. So it was just so funny at the time since we're always in awe of everything we saw here in Korea. But yeah, basically Hongdae was definitely more aesthetic and chill than Myeongdong. Um, there weren't much tall buildings here which I preferred, but there were a lot of theme restaurants and cafes, one of which is the one cafe that we're heading to, which is the Harry Potter Cafe. <music> Here at 943 King's Cross, a Harry Potter themed cafe, obviously. And as a certified Potterhead, Kuya and I 100% recommend for you to check this place out. It was a three floor establishment with different Hogwarts themed. They also have the uniforms for you to fit in. I'm a Slytherin, of course. They have photo areas, moving pictures, and of course, the wand shop up front. I don't know, it was just so beautifully made. Definitely, you can see the theme as you enter the area or the restaurant or the cafe. Yeah, then then recommend for you to see this for yourselves. Plus, the food here was superb, especially the cakes and the drinks. I don't know, I didn't film much of our stay here, but we definitely took our time and just take, took it all in. <laughs> Then that night, we also got to explore the streets of Hongdae, got to shop some more, got my ears pierced. <laughs> just kidding. I just got my earrings changed, but hopefully maybe someday again. Why not? <laughs> Also checked out this three-story arcade game with, um, well, obviously games, <laughs> and this claw machines and a lot of carnival games as well. Um, definitely can see a high school gay drama 
date scene here happening. <laughs> I don't know. It was just so nice and uh, I like it. I like the aesthetic. Oh, and also Kuya won me this very cute stuffed keychain. And yeah, I still have it and I love it. <laughs> we're stopping by Olive Young for some skincare shopping because when in Korea, right? <laughs> we also stopped by a stationery store because hello, it's me. And I just love devouring all sections of these stationery shops and it was a great rest for the others since they were able to sit down and rest their feet. But yeah, that's all for now. More to explore and see by the season finale so get excited for that. But yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, keep it creative, keep exploring, keep being you. Virtual hugs and kisses. Bye, my friends. <laughs>